everyone, this is Eric Gardiner from Blackwell Realty Group and SoldOnMonday.com and I'm excited to have you here. We do a lot of educational videos and today our topic is tips for selling your home in the fall because we're hitting fall right now. It's October, temperatures are cooling off, things are getting great, but the real estate market's still great. And these are tips on how to get the most money possible for your home during the fall. So thanks for joining me. And if you have time, hit the subscribe button below click the little bell and you'll be notified when we come out with new educational videos. So selling your home in the fall is a completely different ball game than selling it during spring and summer because there's a lot of stuff going on um, related to that. So number one is get photos done as soon as possible because the leaves are going to change, the curb appeal is going to change, grass is going to change. So if you're thinking of listing in November, October, get them sooner than later just because you're going to get a little more of that spring curb appeal and you're going to be able to show them, you know, Say we don't get it listed until December because of you know the timeline of when you want to move. We still have photos of when it had a beautiful lawn compared to when it had snow on it. So that's a great idea. Get the photos done as soon as possible. Then you have them ready for when you want to list. And professional photography is key in selling a home. So don't sell yourself short by trying to do it with an iPhone. If someone's trying to pull that on you, call them on it and fire them. It's, it's just a bad idea. Second is be proactive on checking your HVAC system, your heating system, your AC system. You don't want one of these systems to go out the first day it becomes cold and you have a showing that day or there's an inspection that day and something's wrong with the HVAC. Get your heat, your furnace serviced immediately. Typically that's $40. Change the filter because then you're not going to have any problems when with showings, with open houses. It's going to be running efficiently and when you do have the inspection, it's going to be checked off. And when your HVAC guy goes in there, he writes, typically writes on a magnet or whatever form he puts on the furnace that it was serviced on such and such date. And when a buyer's walking through the home, they love seeing that. They know you're taking care of the home. And it reflects on every other aspect of the home also. Third is bring more light inside. People hate being in a dark home. So bring in more floor lamps, more table lamps, things like that. Open the windows, but bring more light inside. Everyone wants a bright home. So make sure you have it like that when you, when you decide to sell. So fourth, fall foot traffic looking at homes is, is less than during the spring and summer. But the buyers that do walk through your home are more serious and ready to write offers. There's less looky-loos, less families just dreaming about moving. They're, the people who tour homes are serious buyers. So be prepared for that. Six is too much seasonal decor. Right now it's Halloween. We love Halloween. We want to put up the wreath maybe some spider webs, but don't overdo it. If you're going to be selling your home, keep it to a minimum, keep it light, keep it fun. Don't go overboard because that's, that's a turnoff to a lot of people. Fifth is flexibility helps. A lot of people have weird dates, weird schedules with soccer, with sports, with work during the fall. And so having flexibility and when you can close, when you can sign, when you can tour, things like that all helps when you want to, you know, receive an offer from a buyer or or if you want to give an offer to a seller. If you can provide flexibility, oftentimes people will be more flexible on price if, if you're flexible on what you need and how you can accommodate them. Seventh is highlight seasonal pluses or positives. So when kids can't go outside because of the snow and it's getting dark earlier, the sun's down by 5, 5.30, having a big great room in your basement with a cozy fireplace can be a really fun place for the kids and the family to retreat to. Play some board games, watch some TV, those type of things. So try and highlight those. Maybe in that basement, set out, set out a board game on one of the tables. Have the fireplace, stack some, some wood next to it, even if it's a gas fireplace, it, staging, it looks great. So do that, because you're highlighting what can be done in that space and helping them imagine it. So last of all, you know, what's the market like in your neighborhood right now? Leave a comment below telling me, have you seen a lot of signs coming up, coming down, you know, of people moving? Because it's a sign, you know, if a lot's happening in your neighborhood right now, it could be a good time for you also. Thanks again for watching this channel. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or want to get a detailed plan on what you want to achieve in real estate in your life, let me know. Give me a call, send me an email, and I'd be happy to help you out. Again, thanks and have a great day.